Good morning, everyone. This is Western Instruments Workshop. I was uh, given the idea by one of my followers on Facebook to give you a tour of my shop. So let's start with the bench. That's where everything happens, really. Today I'm going to start work on this uh, mid-60s B25 that has a broken top and the frets are just worn to hell. And pardon my uh, inadequacies with the camera, I'll try and not give you motion sickness, but I'm not used to this yet. So the bench, guitar parts over here, all sorts of projects in the, in the, <clears throat> in the works. Um, these are my everyday tools that I have to use all the time. A bunch of different pliers, screwdrivers, cutters, uh, my very, very handy nut files, there's probably the most essential tool in a workshop, second to the uh, ruler. And uh, aside from that, well, the rest of the shop, a bandsaw, you gotta know a bandsaw when you see it, and uh, part of one of my IHW series guitars in the makes, my uh, radius machine sanding blocks, my dust collection, more dust collection because I'm a little weird with that, I have to keep things clean. And this is what a work week looks like for me got a bunch of different projects like this uh, <clears throat> this P-base neck over here has a stripped truss rod nut and luckily it's a Mexican so it's not sealed in there I can pull it out with a left turn twist and replace that I've got Terry Tufts Franken Telecaster that's in for well everything fret work and new electronics and turn it into an actual guitar the uh, thickness planer, this one I use uh, mostly for fabrications. I'm sure you guys would be pretty unhappy if I put your guitars through a, a thickness planer once they were finished. Uh, another extremely handy tool, the, uh, <coughs> the belt sander. I use that for adjusting the action on acoustic guitars and shaping nuts. And sometimes when you just need to grind something down a little bit, well, that's where it goes. I need a new belt. Luckily I got one. I uh, got one, yeah, I got one on the wall there. The, uh, the drill press. love my drill press. Huge 17-inch drill press. Took three people to get it into the basement. It weighs like 300 pounds. It's stupid, but it's very useful. Anywhere from drilling new things or re-drilling bridges, and you can put the press in the, the fret press in there, so I get to uh, do some fancy fret work. That's an IHW neck, too. Just finished pressing all the frets in yesterday, and I'll move on to finishing the fret work later this week. Uh, of course, the um, joiner. You can't work without a joiner when you're making. A uh, very, very sharp, fast-spinning blade. A lot of people lose fingers. I keep my fingers away. Hopefully, I'll keep mine for my entire career. And, uh, well, here we have a lot more tools. Um, I got string spacing rulers. I got all sorts of other files for different needs. Micro chisels. Uh, beveling files, micro saws, a uh, bass winder that glows in the dark. And yeah, that's awesome. That it glows in the dark because I always work in the dark. Why did I get that? Uh, here, oh, my handy shop laptop, all of my different truss rod adjustment tools, and uh, some graphite shims, and some uh, wrenches. Take the bridge off old guitars. This is mostly for acoustic guitars. Here we got some uh, patching material. Also, I use these for reinforcements when the tops are cracked. Well, like, I'll, I'll use that on this one. I'll make some uh, little patches that I'm going to put under here and under here where it's broken. Once I've glued the top together and glued those braces back in that have come loose, I'll put some patches in make sure that it stays nice and solid probably won't patch this crack over here, you can barely even see it on the camera, but uh, that'll just be a uh, fill, maybe, I'll have to clamp it down probably, yeah, I'll have to clamp that down. And uh, cam clamps, these are the most, most useful clamps in the shop, I clamp everything down with these. And uh, large collection of cyanoacrylates, known to everyone as super glue, Everything from slow curing, very thick that need accelerator, to fast curing super liquid, to gel control, to liquid control, uh, accelerator, uh, lemon oil. You guys should have some of this in your house if you've got uh, fingerboards that aren't maple. So you just put some on once or twice a year, especially if you have an ebony fingerboard. Keep it from cracking in the winter. Every fingerboards are great, but they do crack in our harsh Canadian environment. 
And um, yeah, I think uh, that's the tour. If you have any other questions, oh, here's a cool tool. Yeah, this is the uh, overarm router. I use this to uh, shape the bodies of my solid body guitars and mandolins. I got the uh, fretting jig over here. That is a uh, that one over there is an adjustable mold for acoustic guitars, and this one here is an orchestra model acoustic mold for well, obviously an acoustic guitar. Uh, different saws, chisels, uh, needle files, straight edge. If you guys go on the internet at all, which you probably do since you're watching this on the internet, you know of Stumac. A lot of tools from Stumac in here, but some tools from other places because some things are just either useless or way too expensive from Stumac. My favorite chisels in the whole world. Very sharp, very long. And my fretting templates. I have a lot of tools. <clears throat> sandpaper galore, because you need so much sandpaper when you're doing frets, finishing, prepping. I got a couple truss rods over there. I got some leftover wood that I use for making jigs or shimming or just if general use. I don't throw it out because I know I'll use it. Uh, buffing compound. Ooh, table saw. Yeah, I got one of those. And. Uh, few things that are in stock. This is all my electronic stuff, anything from 500k, 250k, 100k pots, uh, jacks, springs, switches, knobs, screws, all sorts of screws. And uh, I'll give you a tip. Don't buy screws or fasteners of any kind from a music store. They charge you a fortune. Go to Fastenal, give them the one you want. They'll get you a bag of 100 for 10 bucks instead of having to pay 15 for 12 of them at a music store. And, uh, yeah, that's more supplies. Razor blades. Oh, yeah, razor blades. You become a real tool nerd when you're in a shop, but razor blades very useful. I always, I always have, like, three or four razor blades. So I'm just rambling now, so that's the tour of the shop. If you have any questions, well, let me know, and I will answer them in a timely fashion. Thank you.